Mushrooms are scary. It's terrifying to think you could die from even touching a mushroom. Except you can't. Mushrooms can't hurt you just by touching your skin. They actually have to be ingested for them to be dangerous. Hello friends, my name is Pip and today we're talking about mushrooms. This video will solely be a starting point for beginners who want to get into mushroom foraging. So as a very important disclaimer, don't just go around popping mushrooms into your mouth and hoping that you win. Surprisingly, a lot of people are afraid of mushrooms, but really they're a very vital and fascinating part of the ecosystem. Do you want to learn how to eat them or even just learn more about them? Well, you're in the right place. I've added timestamps in the description that will hopefully help you in your identification and foraging journey, but if you're a beginner, I would really suggest that you watch the entire video. So what even are these strange looking things? Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of mycelium. Mycelium grows underground in living or dead substrates. You could kind of compare it to a fruit tree. For example, the mycelium would be the tree and the mushroom would be an apple. So where do I even find a mushroom, you ask? Mushrooms like to grow in very damp environments. You can find them in established woodlands, on the trees, at the base of the trees, in the shade, in the grass, on dead logs laying over in the woods. Mushrooms also only grow at specific times of year. This can depend also on your location, but most mushrooms will appear in the fall or the spring. Now that you know all of that, let's get into identifying these little guys. So you found a mushroom, now what? Well, feel free to pick it and get a closer look. To pick or to cut? That is the question. Should you cut or pick the mushroom? Really, it doesn't matter what you decide to do, but more so it matters what you're using the mushroom for. For more experienced foragers, they like to cut the mushroom so they can avoid all of the dirt. For beginner mushrooms, I would suggest picking the mushroom so you get the entire specimen and you can see if it's growing on any sneaky substrates below the soil. Now that you've got your mushroom, what country did you find it in? Some mushrooms only grow in certain countries. Also, what did you find your mushroom growing on? The substrate that the mushroom is growing on can be a very key feature to the identifying the actual mushroom itself. Let's talk anatomical features. Mushrooms come in all shapes and sizes. Some have gills that go all the way up into the stem. Some have false gills that are like raised ridges that almost look like gills but aren't quite. Some have pores with these tube-like structures that go all the way up into the cap and some have teeth. Yes, teeth. It sounds way weirder than it is. Gills can also be either concave or convex, and that can be important as well. However, some mushrooms, like the giant puffball mushroom, don't have any of these at all. But this is where the mushrooms release their spores. Oh, and don't forget to make note of the color of the gills. Take a look at the stem or the stipe of the mushroom. Is it a specific color? Is it hollow on the inside? Is it solid on the inside? Is it fibrous on the inside? What shape is it? What size is it? Does it have a skirt? Is it emerging from a vulva? The skirt and the vulva are remnants of what's called a universal veil, which is a temporary skin that the mushroom will later emerge from. So you've looked at the bottom of the mushroom, now let's take a look at the cap. Is your cap smooth or textured? Does it have remnants of that universal veil on it, like an amanita? What color is it? Does it bruise if you squish it a little bit? Does it bleed if you cut it? Um, what color is the liquid? that comes out of it if it does bleed? Is it round or funnel shaped? Is it shiny or sticky? Make note of all of these. Does your mushroom have a distinctive smell? Some mushrooms have distinctive smells. Some smell like nothing at all. Some examples of some smells some mushrooms can have is they can smell like bleach, they can smell like almonds, they can smell fruity, they can smell like they're rotting. But it is a very important feature of the mushroom. A lot of people forget this, but don't forget to smell your mushrooms. <laughs> if you want to be triple sure that you have the correct mushroom, you can do a spore print. Yep, a spore print. It's super easy and simple to take a spore print. All you do is remove the cap of the mushroom, set it on a piece of paper, or set it on a piece of foil, cover it, and leave it overnight. By the morning, you should have a beautiful spore print that can show you the color of spores that your mushroom has, which is a key identification feature. I think I've covered most of the anatomical features that can help you identify your mushroom, but really, I wouldn't suggest learning edible mushrooms first. I would actually suggest to learn the toxic mushrooms that grow in your area first so you can just look at them, know that's not what you're looking for, and move on. And remember, misidentifying a mushroom can have serious and deadly consequences, so make sure that you know 110% that you found what you think you found. If you have even the slightest doubt, don't eat it. You're not going to miss anything by not eating a mushroom that you think you've 
identified but you're really not quite sure it's better to just be safe that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you liked this video and you want a more informative video let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video and remember to forage responsibly and good luck with your foraging journey